Welcome everyone. Today's the day for the first run of the uh, Archer chain. We we've run these before. This is the this is their old style with the wide tooth, full house on a still 029 with a muffler mod, 24 inch. And then we're gonna try this. Okay, okay. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Mine's starting out pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna give this a run. Just gonna make some cuts. I probably won't put times up or anything like that. I'll just let the chain speak for itself, pretty much, and we'll uh, we'll give it a review as we go along as far as smoothness sharpness drag on the saw because they are it is aggressive right out of the box the the normal the normal uh the old style i know for i know is is aggressive out of the box rakers are pretty low so we'll uh we'll see how it compares archer versus archer Titanium. stretch not a whole lot of stretch on that one all right I'll get it changed out and I'll bring you back <laughs> that that we'll talk about that chain in a minute okay now this this chain this chain here a lot of times when you get a chain right out of the box and you feel how sharp it is and then you make a few cuts it uh, Sometimes there will be a burr left there 
from when it's right out of the box or right off the roll and it knocks those off. This didn't do that. This, this didn't do that. And yes, we are cutting softwood. We are cutting softwood. This is large pole pine, but I cut softwood, so right. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna test on. This is what I cut on, right? Makes sense. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this log out a little bit. And we'll uh, we'll try to mimic. We'll try to mimic the cuts that I just made. And yeah, the chain is on tight. Uh, it's on tight. Started out tight. It might be a little too tight, but uh, the adjuster is all the way back. So let's try it. tensioner figured out it was messed up inside so now watch this watch how much better this cuts that's all I did was adjusted the chain watch this
Pretty good difference, I think. switch it back to the old one and do you saw it hopping and jumping there a little bit in the uh, with the with the tip on the raker test you you notice that it's trying to hop out of the cut we're gonna try it with the other one I didn't try it so we're gonna try it right now I'll bring you back okay we got the the original style archer I'll back on there Now I'm going to do like a boar cut type thing. Let's go sit down somewhere and talk about this for a minute. Okay, let's talk about the, the original archer chain, the one with the wider tooth. <coughs> I think you could notice in the in the video, for one, the the raker cut, the raker test cut, where you just put the tip in there and let it go down through and see if it's trying to hop out. I think the original one had more hop. It was trying to hop out more. And I think it has to do with that wider tooth. The they both they both tried to hop out, but the the one with the wide tooth was was worse. Um that I, I think I think that's a that's a that's in that's in the raker. A lot of it is in well it's in the raker. It's allowing too much of the tooth to be to go against the wood and to bat against the wood. 
that's not real hard wood, so it really shouldn't it really shouldn't do that. Um, so my suggestion would be to try to get it a little bit higher raker out of the box. It's not it's not real it, it, the the titanium the titanium was was smoother was smoother in the cut and and there again I think it's the width of the tooth is it makes the difference in that because they're both still they're both the same aggressiveness with the raker gauge they're both they're both still there's they're they're both aggressive out of the box as far as stretch goes neither one of them stretched enough to even to even notice in that many cuts <clears throat> and we'll see more you know we'll see more as we go of uh, I'll get it out and run it I'm gonna put it on a bigger saw next time I run it I'll put it on something 65 or 70 cc somewhere in there I might just and I, and I might just put it on a 60 on the 61 and try it I, I'd really like to try it on the on the Charlie Briscoe saw and on the echo so so we'll see more as far as as far as the stretch goes and then when it gets dull and like and just like the other one just like the other one this one didn't lose any edge didn't lose any edge in the cut none it's still it's still it's kept its sharpness so as far as as far as the first cuts with it, I'm 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 pretty I'm, I'm happy with it because it, it's smoother. It's smoother than the other archer. The titanium is is smoother out of the box. And if you're wondering, the '84 driver is thirty dollars, thirty dollars some cents on the Archer Plus uh, website, and the '72 driver is twenty eight. Twenty-eight dollars and some cents. It's getting oil. It's moving the oil to the rivets, so it's good that they had that groove that I talked about in the in the first video in the visual review. And and it doesn't and it didn't stretch. I'm, I'm glad to see that. The other archer didn't stretch much either, but. This one didn't stretch. They, neither one of them did. So, as far as as far as that goes, and then, like I said, we'll see how it goes when it comes to uh, when it comes time to file it. We'll see what that titanium plating does, because that's what that's what it is. It's just the titanium plating, and it didn't flake off in that amount of cuts. So we'll see what happens when I hit some dirt, you know, because if it's plating, titanium, anybody that port saws or run saws that has a titanical in it, that's part titanium, part nickel. Titanical. And I'm thinking that this is pretty close to the same kind of a coating with a titanium. Maybe not nickel in it, but it's got the titanium in it. So yeah, thanks Archer. Thanks Michael, I appreciate it. Uh, if anybody wants to see anything else, any anything other than what I've shown here today, uh, just throw it in the comments, email me, uh, and we'll try to we'll try to do it. We'll try to get it done for you, and we'll run this chain through as many courses as we can. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming here and supporting and hanging out with us. We all truly appreciate it. Love you all. Take care and be safe. Tazman is rolling. And yeah, of course, I had to I had, I had to wear one of my nice shirts. <laughs> they breathe good out here in this nice breeze and it's nice and warm out. Have a great day, everybody, and stay tuned. <laughs>